Okay, welcome to the greenhouse. It's raining outside, so I've had to come in. What I want to show you is an inexpensive way of extracting liquid honey from comb honey. Uh, when you cut cut comb, you have bits left over. Not everybody loves it. And in my particular instance, the landowner who, whose land I've been working on um, is not fond of the, of, of the comb, so I've made this set up in order to go to jarring. This is a very old spin dryer, in fact it belonged to Bernard Mobus and it's been modified as you can see the, all the safety features, <coughs> cough, have been removed so you need to be very careful and it works on the basis of what I call the top hat and this is 400 micron mesh and there's also a lining of the same material round the drum and the, the lining round the drum acts as a spacer and helps the honey flow through. As I say there are no safety features on this. It also I would suggest not a suitable system for producing honey for sale. This is not food grade quality however trust me it works beautifully. Now the honey has been in the honey warmer overnight it's sitting at something in the region of 45 degrees centigrade. I came up this morning and I gave it a good old churn up in the spatula and as you can see it's very mobile. Now the spinner is going to make a noise I will do my best to talk over it.
good time to do it for Christmas. So there we go. I'll also do a short video on how to make a honey warmer because you can't do this unless your honey is at a decent temperature to start with. But as you can probably see, there was no granulation in this whatsoever and it went through just as sweet as can be. Almost as good as a Rolls Royce nut. And on that happy note, that's how you do it. When the job's finished, I've just put a little uh, inch by inch batten of wood underneath the back of the spinner, tipped it up, and you can see there's a very nice wax layer. I'll try and get a zoom in on this. A very nice wax layer, wax cake almost. If I move it with my finger, the hell the drum wouldn't be very good. It's about, it's about a quarter inch, 8mm, 10mm in places. Now, you can possibly see that. It's actually, <laughs> it's not even sticky. And if you can hear the, the dropping noise, that's because I'm crumbling it. It's so dry. You hear that? Dot. Bear in mind, this spinner runs at 2000 RPM. And I'm just going to say again, one, it's quite dangerous. It's something you need to be very careful of. The end result is excellent. I can tell you that in the days that I was uh, commercial, this spinner has dealt with, I would think, at least eight tons of honey been through it. In fact, eight tons of end products, the goodness knows how many tons actually went through the spinner because sometimes it went through two or three times. So, good piece of kit. Um, not a technique, by the way, that I invented by any manner of means. Spin dryers were used for heather honey extraction and also um, Hamish Robertson and Bernard Mobus used the, the same idea for filtering honey which they passed on to me very kindly. So there you have it. Gone from comb <laughs> to liquid. Virtually it's at bottling standard now. I could take that honey, pour it into the, um, the bottling plant as it were, otherwise a honey ripener these days, and uh, pop it into jars. But it is better to let it stand for 48 hours. Just let all the foam come out. Um, as you can see, there's quite a, a foam layer now. You see where the honey's dripping in here. The foam layer's about a quarter inch. Leave that to sit overnight and it'll probably be the best part of ooh, half an inch or so. Which in itself is not an issue. You just um, use your spatula, spoon, skim it off, put it into a bowl, put it into the next batch that you're going to process and you recapture it. You see, if you're canny with your honey, you don't lose a lot. And a very good tool in the armory, if you haven't got one, is this, a spatula. Because you can use this to get the honey out of your buckets, um, and you really do minimise what you lose. So there we go. The spin dryer method. <laughs>